guys, Animation Nation here, and welcome to part two of my Flash tutorial. Sorry for the long break, but you know, it was Christmas time, and uh, unfortunately, I did not manage to fix the um, microphone on my computer, but it's alright because I've got a headset now and I've got a new laptop, it's all fine. Um, so, in this tutorial, I'll be going through some of the things I talked about in the last video. Uh, I'm going to be showing the 3D rotation tool, uh, the bone tool, the deco tool, and I'm going to end off with um, a little bit of talking about some tweening. Alright, so let's get into this. So, 3D rotation tool. So, this is how it works. So, it basically, so this is just a normal rectangle, 2D rectangle, and I can make it move in a three-dimensional way so show how this works just highlight all of this and move it yeah all right so in my library i have a rectangle made so I just made a rectangle and made it into the library so all i have to do is one here is 3d rotation tool or you can press w to get it up Alright, so the green is uh, it's on three different axes. So your green makes it move that way. The red makes it move this way. And then your blue makes it move like that. So we go here, insert a keyframe. So, yeah. oh, that's the uh, <clears throat> create motion tween that that just move that twenty and there you go so you see it just moves like that if I add another one here add insert frame at the forty go again Like that, so you see it'll move like that. Of course, it does move uh, in this second part here, it does move extremely wildly. But uh, if you keep playing around with it, eventually it will um, and just go like a normal, slower way. But you know, that will take quite a while. So if the just get it back to normal if I can. It's a bit fiddly. Of course, the more you practice with it, it'll get easier. It's close enough. I guess it's a bit crazy, but oh well, it's all right. Um, so let's get rid of all this now, and I will start talking about the bone tool. Uh, so the bone tool is this little tool right here, or you can just use M. Um, so basically, what it does is it allows you to. Um, it's basically mainly use it when you're moving a person or an object, like a car or a building or a monster or whatever. So it's going to create a very basic. Uh, stick figure, don't judge me on this. It's very rushed, I know, and I don't care. <laughs> and it, it's terrible, I don't like it, but it'll have to do. So you just grab your bone tool, just zoom in a bit much. Wow, his big neck. Um, just grab. So that will create the base point there. And you can just drag down from the neck to the shoulders, the shoulders to the elbow, and then from the elbow to where the wrist would be. Of course, you'd have more on a detailed person, you'd have more go right into your wrist all the way through your arms and your hands and your fingers and all the whole band there. Come down to about uh, where your pelvis would be. And then around to your wrist, go to your 
knees, to your legs, and your feet. So that's there. Of course, you can do a lot more if you wanted to. I right, said so now I'm just going to do some simple stuff. Let's go here, insert pose. You can also do insert frame, same thing, just that that has the key point on there, it doesn't really matter much. So just, just make them wave. It is a little bit fiddly too. Of course, if you have more um, points, it will be uh, a little bit, uh, it all depends on, it could be a little bit easier or harder, it just depends on uh, what you're trying to animate and how good you are too. So let's just finish off this wave. And back down. So nice wave. So if I go control enter it'll make it into a little movie. Um, goes back up, does a wave, goes back down. Um, and then eventually you can create something like this, like I showed in the last video, the stick man, how he walks. It's pretty amazing actually um, how this all works, how you've got all the, all those different um, so you can see we click on different frames you see all the different movements it's just crazy it gets pretty complicated after a while um all right so that's it for all that now now we're going to go to back to good old action script 2.0 and we're going to learn about the deco tool now that's this little tool here or you can just press u and it gets it up so you want to go to your properties and I have a whole different range of brushes you can use. Uh, I'm just going to start off with uh, your flame, your fire animation. So, so there's your fire and smoke. And of course I am rushing this, so when you actually do this yourself, you know, just take your time. Uh, uh, yep, that's all right. So set up a fire. Dun, we're done. Uh, and see, it's it also made a frame in smoke. That's just because this is how it is. If I had made smoke afterwards, it wouldn't have made. Uh, keyframes there so you have the small fire here I wouldn't put uh, smoke there yet I would probably start putting it there so you want uh, smoke uh, last 25 frames and start it up and I'll put it in the wrong spot. My bad. There. The wrong spot there. All right, so. Oh, whoops, can't frame. Need a keyframe, that would help. I had a keyframe. All right, let's try it now. There we go. All right, so now I can just trim that. No frames. So you just have basic stuff, nothing too complicated. Of course, that is rushed too. So you know when you actually do this properly, you know you can. Play around with it as long as you want. And just muck around. What's going on there? And now we are going to move on to. 
lightning tool. So first I'm just going to make a cloud again. Don't judge me on this. I know it's rushed and it's terrible and I don't care. It's terrible. I hate that. Alright, uh, lightning. There you go tool. And your lightning brush. So again, you know, with everything on here you can change different colours, the scale of it. You know, with this you've got the width and the complexity. Oh look, okay, that's all I can go. So with this So I don't know. And then I can also go like this, so insert keyframe. Oops. Keyframe there, and then I can slowly get rid of it. Just ah, damn. just like that. There we go. Until there is nothing. So you see the lightning comes down and then disappears. And then, you know, you can have any part that's just gone. So, final, no loop. Play. Play. Comes up and goes. Alright, and that's the last one we're going to do is tree. Simple little tree brush. So, this you have lots and lots of different trees here. So, you just mm, keep doing that. Tree. And so, you just bring it up. And, uh, Bit laggy this one is, so just take your time with it. Jesus, it's turned out a lot worse. Yeah, so like I said, it can get a bit laggy, so you know, just take your time with it, and you can create some trees. This is a bit more laggier when I'm doing this video. Normally, when you do it, it's all fine. So you know you've got lots of different trees you can do. So what you can do as well is I'll just grab this whole thing, just move it down a tad. There we go. Alright, so if I go here, frame five. No, first frame. Here. Just grab some of the tree, control C it. Delete some for the next part. Mm, bit much. Control C, delete that for the next keyframe. Control Shift V sort of places it back in the same place. And just keep doing that over and over again. Um, I'll see if I can, I might speed this press up uh, when I edit, just because it takes a little bit longer. So now it should look like the tree is growing. So you can play around with that and have a bit of fun with that. Alright, so now lastly, I just want to talk quickly about um, tweening. Um, so when you 
right click up here so you have these three tweens here at the top so your classic tween is uh, your basic tween which is the most commonly used one it's very simple very easy to use uh, these last two motion and shape tween are a bit more harder to use um, the shape tween is used for uh, basically changing between one shape to another um, so you can change a circle to a square or you can change you can do like a um, uh, transformer sort of thing, change your car into a robot and something like that. And the last one is your motion tween. Uh, motion tweens are useful. They can be used to, they will be used to uh, make people move. So they're the more harder ones to control. Uh, so that's just about it for this tutorial. Again, if you think I've missed anything that can fit into this, uh, please press the comments so I can say something about it for the next video. Um, oops, sorry about that. Um, thank you for watching, and I will try to get the next tour out as soon as I can. So, thank you for watching.